Guys, I'm golden. 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 Hi guys and welcome back to AJ and J in LA. Even though it's just AJ here for you now, J left me. So Jamal had to go back to the UK and he kind of just left me on my own in LA. Luckily, I had my cousin with me. So yeah, my cousin Taj was here and I'll like, I'll do like a little clip, show you like what we got. Hey guys and welcome back to AJ LL here with my cousin. And we are currently going to Santa Monica Beach. So that should be nice. Yeah, still here with AJ and Jane LA. So yeah. Guys, and welcome back to AJ IRL. Let me see if I can find the sun. We are in Santa Monica. I don't know if you can see that actually, it's over there. Santa Monica, yeah, like I said with my cousin, we made it. We haven't gone to the beach, but smart as I am, I didn't bring any trousers or shorts. What's your job, man, film? I didn't bring any shorts, so I had to go to H&M and get me a pair. So yeah, I know what we're doing. We're looking for something to eat and then we're gonna go to the beach. I don't know what I'm gonna film today, but welcome back to AJ and J in LA. actually in the beach it's nice it's nice it? Taja thinks it's small god I think it could be better we should go to Brazil she I would not take my man with me to Brazil though okay See how curvy those women are my skinny skinny self no let's not do this she's from Brazil and I just got to LA like stop do you think the water's gonna be like oh uh, we're going to the water yeah the water's gonna Oh. We're in a we're on a beach. We're gonna say it's this is Santa cold. Monica Beach. I did that. It's not look at the coastal line. Like look at the look at that. Looks so I have come out to the ocean, and it is cold. The sun may be shining, but this is cold. I must say the water is pretty clean though. I like it. Just looks so beautiful. Like look at that. This is cute. I love it. I'm actually loving this moment. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can't stress how happy I am to be in Los Angeles. Like, being in Santa Monica, and just seeing everything and living life to the fullest. Guys, one thing I will say: live your best and your fullest life. I know she's gonna regret a lot of your like your past. So just live in the moment. This is just. I live so close to Hollywood Boulevard, literally. Okay, I say close, but in America, one block is like one major street to a major street and Hollywood Boulevard is like a block walk forward and then like 10 blocks walk in right. So imagine, but it's a nice walk. I mean, the sun's always shining. So like, who can you like, who's complaining? Not me. So there's this part in LA called Thai Town and I've been living quite close to Thai Town. It's on Hollywood Boulevard actually, on the same strip. And I live just off of it, my Airbnb. And apparently today is the Thai New Year. So that is happening. It's actually really great to see like different culture in America, even though it's great to be like brought together through like this celebration. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've done loads of things in LA, you know, like, oh yeah, I already said we went to Santa Monica Beach, went to Hollywood Boulevard, gone to bars, oh my goodness, guys. So to get into bars here is free, but to like, um, to buy drinks is kind of expensive. I mean, like, it's not too bad. 
But like, um, me and my cousin Taja, we got invited to the Speakeasy Bar, but we didn't know it was a Speakeasy Bar. So we get to this place, like, uh, for those who don't know what Speakeasy Bar is, basically an underground bar. So like from the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell it's a bar. It looks like a couple of houses. It looked like a house, basically. So we got to this place and there was a, um, like, a, one of the people called that security, no. Doorman, let's just call him a doorman. There was a doorman outside and like, um, yeah, he was like, okay, free entry, come in. So we came in now and he's like, just go through one of the doors. And there was like four doors. And so like four or five, five doors. And four of the doors weren't opening, only one door opened. So we went through that doors, like me and my cousin are only black guys, black people, cause she's a girl, sorry, black people. And the rest were like white dudes, Asian dudes, yeah. And like there was this girl sitting on the bed and she was all like, hey guys welcome to welcome to this and this and this like um how are y'all and I was like hey we're good and she was like um she saw my cousin because she's the only girl she was like hey do you want to come and join me on the bed and she was like uh no thank you and like bear in mind this girl was wearing like lingerie she was just chilling on the bed and we were just like what kind of wear are we like are we gonna get raped are we gonna get abducted like what's going on and so yeah like um Dorman's like, okay, you can't come back up this way, so not an exit. Make sure you find the proper exit, guys, you can't leave. And we're like, what? And so she presses the button and then her bed moves across the floor automatically, moves across the floor, and then underneath her bed is stairs, stairs going down. And we were like, what? And my cousin's like, hey, you go first, because I don't want to be scared. So I was like, okay, cool. So I went first for about these two other guys that we were with. And then like, um, and then I thought she was behind me. So I get down there and it's a bar, and like I turn around to see where she is, I'm like, Taja, where are you at? And she's not there, like, I'm looking for her and I asked one of the guys, she's like, where is she going? She, they were like, oh, um, she got scared and went back up. But I was thinking, is this some kind of ploy to like, um, just, you know, like, kill me? And they've killed her? Or what's going on? And so like, I go back to look for her and I can't go up to the way into the stairs because obviously the girl's bed's back covering the stairs for another group of people. And so like, I'm looking for her, looking for her and I can't find her. And then after like five minutes, she pops up, she's like, oh, hey. I was like, where did you go? She's like, I went upstairs to ask the bouncer. Bouncer, that's what they called, bouncers. I went upstairs and asked the bouncer like, what this was. And he says just a speak easy bar. So I came back down and I was like, you are an absolute prick. Imagine me, I'm getting scared on my own. Anyway, so the bar was nice. It was more for like, white people and that's not a problem like we were dancing it's just not really our scene but we can adapt you know i'm great for adapting so yeah we were adapting and then the guys were like okay let's go to the proper bar and we went to another bar and it was like it's called dirty laundry and it was actually really nice like the music there was okay didn't spend too long there and then we left yeah and like the bars here are quite nice i mean like tonight i'm gonna go out again because you know it's Hollywood, baby. So yeah, I really, like, I really don't know what to say. Like, LA is nice. There's a lot of homeless people. I think I mentioned that in my last video. There's a lot of homeless people which I'm not comfortable with. But like, in, in London, it's like, you know, it's sad. And like, the people here, they speak with such a nasal, like, with their nose. They speak through their nose like, hi, how are you? Like, is everything okay? Like, what are you doing? Whereas we speak through, our, I don't know if I want to say our chest, like we, like we speak through our chest, you know, everything we say we mean. So like, yeah, I don't know, like, LA's nice, guys. LA is nice. And I keep, this is upsetting me, I actually have a tan. Look at this, I am golden. I am brown. That's how you know the sun is doing wonders. So yeah, when I come back to London, I'm going to lose that. I'm going to be like one of them flaky, flaky, flaky brown boys again. Anyway, okay guys, thanks for keeping it real with AJ and Jay in LA. I will hit you up for my probably my last episode of this thing. I'll probably get another haircut to end this whole thing and then